I'm going to do the entirety of the Sunken Temple quest line. I saw I've never been here before. Alright. The Temple of Atalakar. That's the actual name of the place. Alright. So. For the purposes of editing, again, I'm going to stop here on the stairs and let the wife be ready to edit in from this point going forward. Alright. Here we go. Now. First thing we have to do is go away from the temple and collect the artifacts from the pool of tears. The next time. It's not a big deal. They're just lying on the bottom of the water out here. It's just a matter of finding them. There's one. We can use the sea turtle to make this a little bit faster. There's a second one right there. See a third around the corner. There we go. There's number three. Get back on the sea turtle. I see number four over there. And number five in the distance. Now this particular quest wasn't originally, that I can remember, part of getting the attunement into the temple. Now, we've got all our artifacties. Now we get flying. See that? It auto dismounted me. Be careful of that if you're flying over this area normally because you can be as high as you want to be above the temple you'll get our uh, auto dismounted and you'll fall to your possible death depending on where you're flying and what angle you're at all right so this guy gets us now it says journey through the antechambers of the temple to the hall of masks okay now what they've done is they've taken the next section i'm going into and instead of being a huge labyrinth that you have to find your way down to get to the sunken temple through, they've actually broken it into a series of quests and they've nerfed the maze. So this part is exactly the way it used to be. Going down the stairs, into the pool of water at the bottom, and then you swim underneath. Okay. And you pop up here. Okay, so this is all exactly the way it used to be. The artwork hasn't changed, the stuff hanging from the ceiling hasn't changed, nothing yet has changed, alright? Except for the addition of that quest outside to get the whole quest line going. From here though, it was a matter of knowing your way through this maze. But the maze is gone. You'll notice there's only one path that I'm on. And that path is taking me directly where I have to go. Yeah, because why have a challenge? That's no fun, apparently. Alright, so, we've gotten the first part done. We got to the Hollow Mask. Slay Priestess Aldumbra in the Chamber of Blood. Now, I cannot remember whether these bosses or, or rares or, or elites or whatever you want to call them were part of the original actual instance and they've been brought out and populate now the maze that was supposed to be here but uh, it's possible I'll tell you one thing for free though this is the instance entrance bullshit it is the original, well they don't have a map for it, the original instance entrance was at the bottom of this maze and you had to know exactly how to get there there was nothing easy about finding your way to it nothing easy at all okay you had to know exactly which way to go to get to there there was a very specific pathway you had to follow at the near the end of it you could jump down a couple of levels to skip part of it she wasn't even elite 
Oh man. This is what I'm talking about chopping the balls off of this. Okay, now it's time we do a bunch of go around here and kill this guy. No, go around here and kill this guy. Hey, go around here and kill this guy, crap. Uh, you didn't have to kill anybody in order to get into the sunken temple. You just had to find your way through the maze and not get killed. And uh, if you knew how to get there and dodge all the vipers and crap, it wasn't that hard a, a maze once you knew your way. This part, this is part of it right here, going this way and then having to go in this this path here. I'm not even sure if that's the right way. Let's check and see if I'm supposed to. No, it's not the right way. It's this way. Okay. You had to go that way to go down even further. There's the blood letter here, the port traces. It didn't have sections like this. It just did ridiculous. Okay, now we go to the den of the collar. They don't even have the other exits, these rooms. Oh. They really nerfed the hell out of this. So so basically, uh, what they've done is they've made it so that it's just a matter of waltzing around and not doing a whole hell of a lot. And none of this matters if you want to just go and do the instance purely. Because none of this stuff is required in order to go into the actual instance. I'm just deliberately doing this to show what used to be a really great maze outside the instance. Okay? This particular area was kind of, sort of, part of going in. Another big stairway down. The bones. The original instance entrance is at the bottom of this area. So in order to get to it, we would just do that. Okay. This guy wasn't here. Who's this dude? You dead yet? Good. Now they make you go all the way. Look at this. Teleporting me back out. I didn't even have a choice as to whether I wanted to walk or not. They teleport you back out. Greetings. Then you get your piece of crap item, doesn't matter which one I get. I'm not keeping it. Right? And now, go into the temple. The next one. What is this, to stoner? Screw that, we're not doing anything that requires going anywhere other than the temple. So now we go back into the main end. See, this is, this is the very disappointing part, is that you used to have to go and do all the stuff I just did, except without the bosses, and with a lot more maze, just to get inside. And if that wasn't enough, wait until I tell you what was actually inside the temple, versus what's in the temple now. Because the temple now is about 15 minutes, if you're lucky, worth of going around killing things with only one boss being slightly challenging which makes it unable to be soloed by people at the level of the instance. You have to have at least two people in order to uh, complete this instance, whether uh, you have uh, heirlooms or not. Okay, here's the, here's the entrance now. All right. And the first thing you're gonna see is the guy I turn this I'm into and then I get other quests to kill some other guys. Be careful. Okay, three quests. That boss. That no. boss. Final boss. Alright. Now. This is the entrance to the sunken tumble, exactly the way it used to be, except for the floor here. This is the entire map of the instance. If anybody remembers the original temple entrance, or the original instance, it had four levels. Now, the four levels, all of them were round. This was the first level, and it had a large central area that you can see us coming up to right here, the Pit of Sacrifice and it had chambers going all the way around it and stairways going up. The second level had 
uh, a hallway going all the way around the central area. What was considered the third level was the uh, ledges that you went out onto from the second level corridor. <coughs> and the fourth level was actually the bottom of the Pit of Sacrifice. Number one, there is now no longer a bottom of the Pit of Sacrifice. This is it. This is the whole place right here. We're at it already. Number two, these hallways off the way they are, they were actually where you'd go to go up the stairways and crap. There weren't bosses down them. The bosses were at the, in certain sections around the ring on the second level and on the first level. And what you had to ultimately do is go up to the second level of the instance, go to the different uh, ledges that were protruding out from the enclosed corridor through the different hallways, and you had to throw switches in a certain sequence, and you got that sequence by going somewhere in the instance and finding a piece of paper or something, I believe it was, or a note that told you which way to yeah. throw them. And if you threw the switches in the right way, you opened up the Pit of Sacrifice and gained access to the final boss. Now, it's literally five bosses, okay? You've got what everybody does as the first boss, which is the only one that provides any trouble the way it used to in the first uh, version of the instance. You have a second boss which appears in the center, which is a bunch of dragons, and you, you have to down the main one. You have the uh, third boss, Avatar of a Car, which technically kind of completes the instance, but not really. A fourth boss, which is another bunch of dragons, and the final boss, which is the Shade. You can do this in any any way. It doesn't really matter. But you can already see there's, there's one area that's blocked off, and the hallway started right here. You can actually see these used to be the hallways. You used to come in here and you'd go around looking for the way in. It's just such a shame. This this instance is the only instance I can guarantee definitely got nerfed more than Solomans did. You, oh, they actually might allow you to still see down. That's where the final boss used to be, folks. Down there. <sighs> it's not even part of the instance anymore. See, people do express displeasure with the way Blizzard has done things. The fact that so many subscribers have left the game since its heyday, which was back when it was a... Uh, we're going to say Burning Crusade and Wrath of the Lich King. That was the game's heyday. That was when the game was really good. The expansions were incredible. Burning Crusade, yeah, you had to work your way through Hellfire Peninsula, but once you got through that section, my goodness, you had lots to do. You had to get attuned to the instances. You couldn't just go to the Architraz and waltz in. No, you had to actually gain the ability to get the key to get in there. You couldn't just go to the Black Temple. You had to do a whole buttload of questing to do that. A buttload of questing, I might add, that my main character has done. They've nerfed the game so horribly badly, I don't even know how to begin to tell you. I mean, I'm only giving you an idea in the instances, but the game has been really terribly changed. It's been deliberately rendered uh, easier for noobs to play the game. Like, all of a sudden, Blizzard thinks that their uh, main target is the uh, gross populace of the world, you know? Society in general, not people who play RPGs. They want to be accessible to everybody. I applaud them on that idea. And by all means, make newbie start zones for the people who aren't really used to playing RPGs or, or uh, online games. But don't screw all the people who have been playing the game for years out of the experiences that they used to enjoy immensely. The challenges that used to be there. I mean, yeah, you can run the Sunken Temple as a heroic, but you're still running this Sunken Temple. You're not running the real Sunken Temple. You're running this version. Who gives a crap about this version? 
This version is so castrated, it doesn't even warrant being called the same name. Why don't you call it Tiny Little Incense with Lots of Dragons to Skin? That's pretty much what it's been reduced to. <sighs> yes, I'm bitching, and yes, I'm moaning, and yes, I'm complaining. And yes, I'm probably doing the old man syndrome thing of get the hell off my lawn. <laughs> but, to be completely honest, if you knew this instance the way I knew this instance back in the day, you'd probably be pissed too. Because what ultimately Blizzard has ultimately done, with all the added content and all the expansion content, they've actually gone back and removed other content. Technically, this instance has removed content. And so does Solomance, in a big way. <sighs> okay, uh, a little bit has to be said about this area, the priests. The priests, when they die, they create a ghost. No big, right? Doesn't sound like a big deal. The ghost cannot be harmed and do damage to you until they dissipate. Not a big deal when you're level 100, quite a big deal when you're level whatever hell level you're supposed to be. What level are these things? 53. Oh, it's a death walker that gives it. Okay, whatever. So level 53s, you, you have trouble with this instance a little bit because if you don't know these guys, you're going to just turn into ghosts and come chasing after you, as I'll demonstrate. So you can't kill them. See, they're immune to anything I do. Yes, they have a hit point count, but that doesn't matter. They are immune. Trust me, they're immune. That's one of two things you have to know about about this instance is this immunity of the ghosts and the fact that these guys actually become these ghosts. That's the one thing you need to know. The other thing you need to know that you're not going to see by my doing this instance is uh, one of the mechanics of this boss is to freeze one of your characters in place while he heals up. Okay, you're not going to see that mainly because I'm going to kill him so quickly he's not going to get a chance to do it. But the fact that he does that ability, the fact that he freezes you in place and he freezes a random person while he does the healing off that person, um, he actually makes that, actually I don't know if he freezes him, I think he actually makes that person friendly to him. So you do damage the other characters in your instance while he heals up. I think that's how it works. Either way, it doesn't matter. The point is, um, because of that specific mechanic, you cannot slow this instance at level. You have to kill him quickly if you want to be able to successfully complete the, the instance. I'm just checking to see flame strike and that's not that. Yes, I'm rooted. Okay, I'm rooted. I might have been okay, healing the. You have someone here who says, yes, but do you know how many dumbasses would get <laughs> lost if Blizzard didn't dumb it down enough? So they <laughs> even tried to find their way out. I'll give you that. Back in the day, I'll, okay, enough of the rooting, you're dead already. Um, back in the day, it is true, it was uh, follow the leader exercise being in this instance. I'll give you that. But if you played the game regularly and you went into the instances on a regular basis, it would only take maybe two or three runs to get a feel for where the stairs were and where the creatures were and would only take maybe four or five runs of a really dedicated player to know exactly what switch has to be thrown when. I'll give you that you're right. Because, but the thing is, that's also a result of them dumbing it down. The reason why you, you're, I mean, you've got a very valid point that there are a lot of dumb asses who wouldn't know their ass from their elbow going around this instance trying to find their way out. True. But part of the reason that those idiots are in the game is because the game got dumbed down to accommodate them in the first place. Would that be a point you'd be willing to agree on?
that, by the way, was the summoned boss that comes up as a result of killing the first boss. The dragons come in, and you kill them. They're really, really challenging. They're all tank and he agrees to that, yes. I figured he might. <laughs> so, you know, the game has been dumbed down because of the idiots playing it, but the idiots playing it wouldn't have been if the game hadn't been dumbed down in the first place. And certain things don't make sense to dumb down. I mean, I think you're missing out a lot. Yes, I know that if you want to get to the current content, you want to get through the lower level content as quickly as possible, okay? Good point. Right. True. Very true. However, I think that if you want to experience the game the way it was, you cannot do... You don't have that option anymore. I want to... If I want to go into the Black Temple, if I deliberately want to go into the Black Temple in Burning Crusade, I should have to jump through the same damn hoops that anybody who was playing Burning Crusade when it was a current expansion had to do then. But they've taken it away now. You can jump through those same hoops if you really, really want to. But that doesn't stop Joe Blow from waltzing in and doing whatever he wants and next thing you know, the instance is done. I mean, the Black Temple was an epic, epic raid. Just getting to it meant you had to do a lot of instances. Finding the right items off the right bosses, putting it together, doing uh, certain instances in a certain order. It was an epic quest chain. And you couldn't do it unless you had people who knew the instances. I remember back in the day when going to the Architraz and attempting to complete that was a challenge. You'd be lucky if you had more than one person in your group even have the key to get in it. But now, you don't even need to worry about that because you can just open up the door. All you have to do is be able to fly. And, oh yeah, by the way, did I mention you don't have to reach the upper level of Burning Crusade in order to gain the ability to fly? You just have to get to, I think, level, geez, is it 60? And you can fly an Outland. So not only do you not have to attune yourself to these instances, you can also get flying the minute you get to the expansion. I mean, that sucks. That's why I like what they've done with Draenor. They've done a wonderful thing with Draenor in the sense that, yeah, you can fly. Well, we hope we can, so we haven't seen the patch come out yet. But yeah, you'll be able to fly in Draenor, provided you've done everything there is to do. I mean, they make you have to complete almost every single quest in every single zone. And that's just for starters. Then you have to do all the level 100 uh, quests that you get off the table in your garrison. And then you have to gather treasure, so it's not just a matter of completing the zones. You have to complete the zones, get the maps, and then go treasure hunting. And if that's not enough, then you have to raise up your rep with the three main uh, reputations in uh, Tanan Jungle. Then you have the ability. It's kind of like driving a car. It's a not a right. It's a privilege. You have to earn that privilege, right? You and I worked really hard to earn a lot of the privileges. Yeah. I mean, you don't just walk into the Architraz in Burning Crusade. You don't just walk into the Black Temple. No. You have to earn the right to get to the Black Temple. Yeah. And then you have to, you know, learn everything bit by bit. Like, I think that's one of the things that they've lost in the item level hunt. I mean, I was talking the other day to someone in my, one of my guilds discussing the fact that item levels are going to break a thousand in the next expansion. And they said, no, they won't. Item levels will never go that high. And I'm sitting there going, are you kidding me? Why wouldn't they? It's not like they're doing anything to slow... I mean, yeah, they nerfed, kind of nerfed the uh, hit points, and everybody got pissed off at that, even though the numbers were exactly the same minus an extra zero or two on the end. But... I mean, on the whole, Blizzard's kind of, they're not, they're not making sense with some of the choices they're making. They're getting rid of content because they think that new people aren't intelligent enough to handle it, and therefore, they are allowing an influx of people who don't want to do it. They're letting the ten-year-olds rule the dungeons. 
they're letting the people who are not dedicated in playing the game get to all the content that you had to be dedicated. Yeah, back in the day, you had to have a guild to complete all the uh, content. And I am guilty of wishing I had a guild that was worthy of doing upper level content. When I was in Burning Crusade, I never saw the Black Temple while I was in Burning Crusade. Based on what I've been saying the last few minutes, that's probably a shock to anybody listening, but yeah. I never saw the Black Temple in Burning Crusade. I didn't see the Black Temple. You want to know when I saw the Black Temple? You're going to get a good laugh out of this. I saw the Black Temple in the last few months when I ran it with a level 100. My main gut rend ran it at level 100 uh, because I never had a guild that was geared enough to even consider starting the Black Temple. I mean, how sad is that? Tempest Keep? Nope, never saw the inside of that until recently. Let's see, what other raids were there? Oh, there was the, uh, were the, oh, jeez, the time, the time slip instances. I don't even know what they're called now. Once you access through the uh, Cavern of Lost Time in Canaris. Those instances. Uh, I don't think any of them... I don't think there were... There were some... At least one was a raid. Hydral. The Battle from on Hydral was a raid, but I can't remember when that was actually put into the game. Um, but I never saw any of the raids while doing Burning Crusade. I saw... I'm trying to figure out which raids I saw in Lich King. I don't remember seeing any of the raids in Lich King before I uh, left the game. I left uh, Lich King just before the release of the final patch which allowed us access to Arthas himself. Because you needed to actually have people who knew their shit and were dedicated